I can't articulate the way that I wish I could what it felt like to be told because you were raped in your sleep. You are not worthy of dying for the United States of America. To be simply thrown away for something that I did not choose. I was raped by six men. I was sodomized and uh, penetrated. When I was raped, my perpetrator held a knife to my throat. In July of 1979, we had a new man in our unit. His name was Jeffrey Dahmer. I was drugged and raped by Jeffrey. I woke up. He was hitting me with a bunk adapter. And, you know, I was um, raped and beat again. He would either beat me before or after the rapes. Suddenly his arm went around my neck and apparently hit a pressure point and uh, took me out instantly. When I came to, I was being raped. I was knocked unconscious from behind. And when I came to, uh, I was being held down by two individuals and someone was pulling my pants down and I was raped, sodomized. She violated me. I mean, you, what, what's on in your mind she did? The, you know, drugged and uh, sodomized me and raped me. I was jumped by three drill sergeants. I was raped multiple times. I was handcuffed in the shower. And one of the drill sergeants proceeded to sodomize me again. If we can save one kid's life that's coming back now, um, then it's, it's worth it. It's hard and it's a constant battle for everybody, but you find a way. You get up in the morning, you kiss your kids, you say a prayer, and you do the best you can. And I love him, so I always hope for a better tomorrow. Who picks this? This is forced on me. I don't even want to be telling the truth, but my conscience demands that I reach out to people who are where I have been, because they need a little bit of light in a very, very dark existence. And if just one person doesn't hang themselves or pull the trigger or get in the car and turn it on in the garage or however many other millions of ways there are to end yourself, don't do it. Hip, hip, hip.